Hello and welcome to the Out of the Sandbox video guide to finding all of your settings. This video is for you if you're using one of the Out of the Sandbox themes that has been updated to support the Shopify sections settings interface. If you're using any of these versions of the themes, then you can take advantage of this new settings interface, which the Out of the Sandbox team has leveraged to give you ultimate flexibility over configuring your shop, not just the home page, but also the internal pages of the shop. And if you're coming from a pre-sections version of Shopify, or even if you're new to the platform, it may not be immediately obvious where you can find all of the settings associated with these internal pages. Well, I'm here to show you that from your admin panel here, going to online store, into themes, and then into customize theme, where I'm greeted with the sections interface. I'd like to point out that the page that you are viewing in the preview window on the right corresponds with the sections settings that appear here on the left. So since we're looking at the home page, here are the home page section settings. If I would like to see the collection page section settings, I need to navigate to a collection page. As you see here, the settings have changed to reflect the default collection page template settings. Likewise, if I would like to access the product page settings, I can either navigate to a product through my main menu, or I can just click on the thumbnail image here from the collection page to access the product page and see the product page settings. So that may seem fairly straightforward, but that is predicated on you having some content on the Shopify platform. Specifically, you would need to have a product or some products, maybe a demo product on the platform. That product would need to be categorized into a collection. Furthermore, you would need to set up a way of navigating to that collection, which can be done any number of ways, but my favorite way would be setting up a main menu. And if you needed details on setting up your main menu, check out your homepage setup video where that is discussed. But those steps are necessary. You need to have the content on the platform. You need to make a way of navigating to it so that when you're in the sections interface, you can navigate to it to see the settings change. So this also applies to the blog page, which has its own set of section settings, as well as the blog posts that have their own settings. So before you'd be able to access those settings, you would need to have a blog post on the Shopify platform and a way of navigating to it. You will also find separate section settings for the cart, which you see here, and the search page. Furthermore, this also applies to any of the alternate templates that you are using on your shop. As you see, as we head into a product here on the Shopify platform, we have a selection of theme templates. And these are templates that come built in with your out of the sandbox theme. I'm gonna choose this special product.details template which is a special template that gives you ultimate flexibility over the bottom portion of your product page. But to access the settings, I need to be sure to not only set the template here in the product, but in the customized theme settings, I need to navigate to that specific product to see the settings here on the left change to reflect the special template that I have selected. So that's going to apply to all of these product templates, these alternate collection templates, and these alternate page templates. So again, important to create the content, set the template, create a way of navigating to the content, and then head in to the section settings to see all of your options. Finally, we also have this area of general settings. These settings do not change depending on the page that you're viewing here in the preview window, but there are settings in here associated with some of the pages we've looked at, like the cart. We have these product grid settings, which apply to the collection page and to the product page. So be sure to check out all of the general settings and be sure to check out all of these section settings so that you see all of the potential that the theme has for configuring your shop. I hope this clears it up. Thank you for joining me for this video guide. My name is Sean Campbell. Take care.